guys my name is Vikram Tucker today I'm going to show you how to install a MongoDB server on your Windows machine so first of all I would like to tell you that MongoDB is a cross-platform document oriented database it is also called a NoSQL database and is quite different from the usual uh, relational databases that we use like Oracle, Sybase, MySQL etc so let's get started and see how we can install a MongoDB on Windows Server. So first of all, open your website www.mongodb.org/downloads and select the release that you want to install. For a 64-bit machine, you can select 64-bit, and for a 32-bit, you can select 32-bit. So mine is a 64-bit machine, so I'm going to install that on my machine so once it is downloaded I have already downloaded a MongoDB setup you can take it to any data any uh, directory uh, on your machine so I've taken it to see Vikram Tucker and then MongoDB and I'm going to extract it here so if you see a MongoDB structure it just contains few .exe files and you are ready to go you just have to uh, provide the path of the bin a data path and a log path and rest you are ready to go so if you see there are only few exes nothing else in a mongodb installable so once you have extracted the mongodb uh, file uh, archive file so first thing you have to do is you have to create a few directories uh, for the mongodb to create the documents uh, the default directory is C data DB but let's try to use a different directory as per your convenience so I'm going to create a config file which is going to store all this directory information so first of all let's create a data directory so MongoDB server requires a data directory and a log directory so I'm going to create data and a log directory inside a MongoDB directory now let's create a config file which will tell the server which directories to use so let's name is mongo dot config yes let's configure it so there are basically three main parameters that is required for a mango db server one is the path of the database or path of the data directory so let's start the parameter name is db path and let's give its value as the data directory that we've created okay now the second parameter is the log path give the path as log and third parameter is dig log it is for the read and write permissions now save this file and let's open it from here so we have created three parameters db path log path and dig log now it's time for us to start the mango db server let's open the cmd command prompt and open as run as administrator log to this directly straight away and go to so if you see there are a couple of exe files that we have in the bin directory so the mango server is mongod.exe so let's start the server by using mongod.exe and then giving the path of the config file that we've just created config give the path equal to the path of the config and then mongo dot config and let's start the server couldn't read from the config file okay 
I've given the wrong name. Let's start again. To start the server, give mongo d dot exe config equal to mongo dot config. Okay, so you can see that it says that the log should be a file name not a directory so while creating a config file we have given the log path as a directory path so instead we have to give it as a log file so let's say mongo db dot log and save again and let's start server mongo d dot exe config and then path of a config file now you can see that the server is on the next part is to open a shell and test if the server is on. Let's open CMD. So if you don't if you want to avoid going to a bin directory, just add this path of a bin directory to a path environment variable in your Windows okay so then you can uh, run this uh, mongo shell from any directory so to start a mongo shell or a mongo client enter mongo now you can see that it is by default connecting to a test database you can always check which database it is connecting to using a db command so it will show you which database it is connected so as i said it it is a a document oriented database so let's create a first test document to see our server is up so to create a new document let's say db dot the database name dot insert insert functions uh, helps us to add new document and as as um, mongodb stores all the documents in a json format so we have to give a json document let's say first and let's give its value 1 and so we've created a simple JSON document now the document has been created let's see if it has been created db.test.find so you can see that we already have one document that has been created so this is how we install a MongoDB server on Windows machine it is quite easy and if you have any issues, please follow the link mentioned in the tutorial.